Good morning. I wanted to make a quick video on understanding the even odd positions in pickleball. When I started playing pickleball, players I'd play with were talking about, oh, well, the score should be even, the score should be odd. I didn't understand this until I actually used uh, paper and pencil, actually colored pens, to play a pickleball game on paper. It wasn't until then that I understood this whole even and odd position thing. And so I'm making this video for a friend and anybody else that wants to understand this. Okay, I have set up a pickleball game. We've got Team A over here and we've got T Team B over here. And I apologize, my graphics are very crude, but I just put this together super fast. Okay, the one thing that you want to take note of at the very beginning of the game before the first ball is served is the position of the players, especially those that are in the serving court, the serving court being the right-hand court, okay? This right-hand court here, this right-hand court here. And who are those first servers? We need to take note of that, okay? So I've got this set up, and the people that are highlighted in yellow are the very first servers on both teams. So let's play part of a game here and we'll watch the score develop. The person who says the score, if they're the yellow person that's serving, their score that they're, they're stating will be in yellow. When their partner, who's not highlighted, when they say a score, it will show up in black. And we'll just watch the progression here and then take a look at what happens. Okay, so this first person here, the score at the beginning of the game is 0, zero 2 And so they serve the ball, and it looks like Team B hit a ball into the net. So now Team A, they switch positions, and now the score is one zero two. And it looks like Team B shot the ball out of, out of bounds. So these two are going to switch positions. The score is now 2-0-2, and we serve. And it looks like they that server served long, so side out. Now it's Team B serve. The score is 0-2-1, and they serve. And what happened? Oh, it looks like Team A hit it out of bounds. These two will swap positions. My first server here, the new score is 1-2-1. All right, looks like Team A faulted out. These two swap positions. The score is now 2-2-1, serving from the right-hand court. And looks like they hit the net. Okay, so it's the second server's serve. The score is now 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Let's see what happens. Team A shoots it long, so they swap positions here. Second server, the score is 3-2-2, and looks like uh, that server hit it wide. Side out, the serve comes back over to team A. The score is now 2-3-1, and team B shoots it wide. These two swap positions, the score is now 3-3-1. Three, three, and it looks like it hit the net. So the serve comes to the second server. The score is now 3-3-2. Three, three, and it looks like Team B shot it out of bounds. These two are going to swap positions. The score is now 4-3-2. Yeah, it looks like Team B shot it into the net. These two swap positions. <coughs> serve the ball and it's wide, side out. Serve comes back to team B. This person is in the, the serving court, so the score is now three, five, one. Team A shoots it long. These two are gonna swap positions. Score is now four, five, one. And team A shoots it into the net. These two swap positions. This player serves, and, oh, what a bad serve. Okay, 
So now it is this player's turn, the second server, second player's turn to serve. The score is now 5-5-2. Five, five, and I don't know what happened there. Uh, looks like Team A faulted out. So they swap positions. The score is now 6-5-2. And Team A shoots it out of bounds. Hits it out of bounds. The score is now 7-5-2. And bad serve. Okay, side out. It's now this player's serve in the serving court. And Team B shoots it long. They swap positions. The score is now 6-7-1. Team B faults out. These two swap positions. This player serves again. And serves it out of bounds. Second server serves the ball. The score is 7-7-2. Seven, seven, Team B hits it into the net. These two swap positions. Second server, the score is 8-7-2. And I think that's where I stopped. Now let's stop and take a look at these scores. Every time our first... Now remember, our initial first servers are highlighted in yellow. Every time this initial first server serves in this right-hand court, look at this, our score is even. Remember the first number here is the serving team score. Every time this person in yellow who was the first server serves in the right-hand court, your score is even. When this person then serves out of this court, the score is odd. The serving team score is odd. This person here who is the second server, anytime the second server is serving from this court, the score is odd. See that right in here? Anytime the second server is serving from the left-hand court, the score is even. And you can see it on this side also. This person highlighted in yellow was our first server. When the first server is serving from the right-hand court, the score is all, their score is always even. When the first server is serving in the left hand court, their score is always odd. When the, when the original second server is serving in the right hand court, the team's score is odd. When the original second server is serving from this court here, the score is even. Okay, and that definitely helps you when you're playing a game, like I was playing a game yesterday, and this team over here switched sides during the game. They switched during the middle of a game, but after the fault, they didn't switch back to the original positions. <clears throat> I happen to know who was the first server. The first server was the lady. She's standing over here. And the score was like, I don't know, I was serving over here, and the score was maybe, uh, I don't know, it was like 7-4, seven, 7-4. Four, seven, four. She was the first server. I knew she needed to be in this position here. Since their score was 4 and it was even, she was in the wrong position. So this definitely helps you figure out It'll help you figure out what the score should be. Should it be even or odd based on who's standing in the right-hand court? It also lets you know if people are out of position. So I hope this helps you understand the whole even-odd position thing.